which means that's probably something we want to do as well. I don't feel like letting that one wait. So I'm gonna lead with the apology that this one's gonna drag on a bit, but we did the upload image. And from that, we got the image file back and it's displayed in the app. But if you log in new, let me show you. Let me show you what's still broken. If you um, leave the app, and then come back into the to-do list that we're working on and go to profile, it's empty because we're not going through the upload image API at this point. And we're actually going through the off me um, API and that one does not yet set that profile image. So guess what we get to do? We get to change another API because once we've altered it in one place and made the association, we need to take the time to fix it in the other places. So right now we're just getting a record. So I'm in the off me and this gets called anytime the, you go into the app, when we had set local storage to the auth token, that auth token is being used to call this off me to see if you're still a valid user. And so what I need to do at that point is, um, We've got this ID set up. So based on who we are as an auth ID, it's gonna validate me. But then I also need to use an add-on. And guess which one we're gonna use. You can reuse add-ons, which is fun. Um, you just have to tell it um, where, uh, where to associate dun, 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 that data. Let me see where we got here. User ID, it's not what I want. You'll see me always stumbling when I'm trying to do stuff in real time here. I think the reason I'm stumbling, because if I go back, this is customized. Okay. So I was all excited and I was gonna do it first time through. It's pretty close to that. The output has been customized. And since it's customized, it doesn't by default show me the new column that I put in. So I have to come into customize and select the media ID that was put in after um, this off me was set up, which was some time ago. So now I come back into the output and I do my add on and I do my profile pick. And there we go. Now it found it all by itself. So now it's going to match those up. Uh, we're going to save that. And what do you say we go back to AppGyver? Because I've once again changed the structure of an API. And since I've done that, bouncing around here, nothing important. You can ignore me. Now it's important. <clears throat> since I've changed the auth me structure and I'm in. Uh, passing back a new variable, I want to change that here. Okay, so we're in auth me, and if we look at auth me, it's a get. So we're going to get a record, we're going to test, and really all we have to specify is I can be taught. I remembered it this time. Okay, so we're going to run the test. There we go. So we got back the path, but in good fashion, we got back the relative path because I haven't fixed that problem in the auth me. But I can still save the schema because the schema is not going to change anymore, just the content. And then I'm going to come back to the auth me and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I am gonna add a new item, silly me, to the function stack. It's gonna be data manipulation. I'm gonna update a variable. So this is what we did with the upload image. I'm gonna use an existing variable, which is user. And then I am going to use my environment variable, which is the Xano base URL that we created. And I'm gonna add a filter. And if you remember, we did a text filter that was concatenate. And what I want to concatenate is the user 
And then you know what I need to do. I'm going to save those and come back out because I didn't remember my path. So for output, it's going to be user. Okay, that's straightforward. User dot profile pick dot image and then path. So user profile pick image path. User profile pick image path. Okay. So now when we run and debug this, dun, 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 off token, many, many little steps, even when you're doing no coding. Okay, I want to run and debug. Silly me, I just uh, lost my auth token. I'll have to go back and do that again here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have. We have update variable user. Okay, here's where I messed up. If you'll notice, the result was literally just the path because I forgot to tell it very specifically what part of the user variable that I wanted to update, which I guess is why I take the time to test because I messed it up. There's the token. That's much better. Now we get a full result instead of just the path. And we get a full test or a full path there. So that's a positive. So now we can go back to AppGyver. And when we do our create record, nope, that's not where I wanted to be. We, we've already set all this stuff up. What I'm now doing is going to the login page because it's within the login page that at a page level, we call the me, the auth me. And coming out of that, we set app variables. And one of those is a profile image path. And instead of just using the default path, we are now going to use what comes out of the auth me, get record. And I guess what, we're gonna be incompatible. Funny how many times I fall down that little trap without thinking about it. Okay, so we want to do the formula. Uh, we want to get rid of that. We want to use output of another node. And we want to use the image path. Okay. This means that when we come back in, which it's already done, it's already restarted itself. If I go to profile, it's there. And obviously we didn't have to do anything special. We'd already set up all the references to it. But now if we um, leave the app and come back in, it automatically logs us in right now through that auth. And now you have a profile image. Uh, I always get so excited when things actually work, even though it may take me a while to get there. Uh, so that's where we're at. You have now made it so that you can compress it, associate it, get it back through AuthMe, and um, I'll do is uh, leave you guys with an exercise on this one so you don't have to keep watching me do the same thing. What you want to do is also in Xano for login, you want to go into the login as well. And you want to add not just the auth token to being returned, but you also want to have the um, user image path returned because it will be needed um, for a login, not just for an off me. So I'll leave that as an exercise for you guys to do. You've seen me do it twice with the upload image and then with the off me. Uh, you will have to add in an item to the function stack where you concatenate those two items together. And then you will need to add a response so that you're not just returning off token, but you're also returning that Im full image path. And then because you've changed this API, you go back into AppGyber and data. You will rerun the login, and then you will reset the schema.
if you do have questions on that, if it's not working for you, uh, feel free to reach out to me on the uh, AppDiver forum or the Xano forum. And also feel free to just reach out to me on the comments in, uh, in YouTube if that works best for you. Thanks again for your time.